Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here. Back with another video. And if you want to factory reset or refresh or say reload or roll back the firmware on your DJI Mini 3 Pro using your computer or your Mac, well, that is what we are going to do in this video. Now, why would you want to reload the firmware, refresh the firmware, roll back the firmware? On your DJI Mini 3 Pro well maybe you want to go back to an older version which is why you want to roll back if you want to start from the scratch you know a clean a fresh drone that is when you would reload or refresh or in other words install the current firmware using a computer on your DJI Mini 3 Pro so without any further delay let us get down to business and of course all the relevant links are linked in the description of this video so here it is we are on the dji support web page about updating your drone firmware so we are going to use our computer and in my case i'm going to use my mac so you can update your firmware on the dji mini 3 pro using the dji assistant 2 application now do note that they have multiple versions of the dji assistant 2 application based on the drone you have so in my case i have the dji mini 3 pro and i need to select this link which says click here similarly if you have say the phantom 4 then the link is different and if you have the mavic mini there's another link so mini 3 pro i will select this link and as you can see i have two options so i have software for mac and then i have one for windows now as you can see i am using my mac so i'm going to select this option and that is going to download the package file into my downloads folder so here it is i am in the downloads folder and i have the dji assistant to application downloaded all i have to do is double click on it so that i can install the app and of course mac is super secure so they're giving me a message about it cannot be opened because it is from an unidentified developer we're going to select ok over here apple logo on the top left go into system settings on the next screen we'll go into privacy and security scroll down and here it is i'm getting the message that it was blocked i'm going to say open anyway it is going to ask me for my password i will enter the password and select modify settings and there it is it is giving me another message i'm going to select open over here and now we are on the setup screen for dji assistant 2 onto my mac i'm going to say continue continue one more time agree over here continue and then say install enter my password one more time select install software and there it is dji assistant 2 is being installed onto my mac now as you might have noticed that i did get another terminal pop-up where i had to enter my admin password so that is something which is needed to install the driver for dji assistant 2 and then they do recommend that you go ahead and restart your mac all right so we have restarted our mac and then the next thing we can do is we can open launchpad so that we can see all the applications bam here it is dji assistant 2 drone series application and we just double click on the app so that we can open it there it is you have to agree to the terms and conditions the privacy policy and your data authorization and of course if you want to join the product improvement program you can do that as well and at this point it wants me to connect my dji mini 3 pro to the computer so make sure you have turned on your dji mini 3 pro before connecting it to your computer using the type c cable which you would have received with the dji mini 3 pro and bam there it is you can see that i now have my dji mini 3 pro over here and i can select it now once you select it you can see that it is telling me about the firmware update and that i do have the latest version in case there is a downgrade available it will show up below the current one and it will be in blue now at this point if you want to refresh or reload the firmware on your dji mini 3 pro all you need to do is select refresh do note 
a few important things one make sure you have an active internet connection on your computer and secondly make sure that the battery on your dji mini 3 pro is charged to at least 70 percent or maybe even 100 percent because the process is going to take around 10 minutes so you have to be patient so let us go ahead and select refresh and there it is it is telling you the same things computer is connected to the internet device powered on with sufficient battery usb connection and we're going to say start update and bam there it is you can see it is downloading the latest firmware for the dji mini 3 pro and once the download process finished successfully we are now on the transmitting screen and once the transmitting process finished 200 percent we are now on the updating screen there it is we just got the message that update is complete and now the drone i think turned itself off because you can see it is telling me to connect the drone to the computer one more time but we have successfully refreshed the firmware effectively factory resetting the dji mini 3 pro